Hello sunshines, welcome to Bunnyfish Crafts. I'm your host Heather, known as Bunnyfish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Saturday the 25th of September 2021 and it is cool and drizzly in Michigan, which is so lovely. So I'm at the yarn shop because my house is always too loud to record. And I came in early to record with you because I, again, have not recorded anything throughout this week. So regular episode, I guess. Uh, I don't have notes and I'm not very organized. I have a computer bag that I shoved stuff into on my way here. So let's pull out some stuff. Let's pull out books first because they ended up on top. So this week I have done a bit of reading. I'm not sure what my camera is doing. It looks kind of like hazy to me, but I just cleaned it. So sorry. Um, anyway, I finished Confident Women by Tori Telfer. Interesting read. Um, reading about like criminals is kind of interesting, right? So it was all about con women and what they did, how they got away with it, how they were finally caught or not caught, things like that. The last one was kind of gruesome compared to the others. Not that the others were wholesome or anything, but um, it was definitely like, I don't remember her name. Table of contents, where are you? Here we go. Um, Sante Kimes, I think, is how you would say that. S-A-N-T-E-K-I-M-E-S. She was a monster. Oh my goodness. But the other ones were less, like, Sante Kimes, like, killed people and stuff. And the other people, for the most part, didn't. So... Yeah, her story was a little horrific, but overall, interesting read. I liked it, um, and when I was reading it, I couldn't put it down. It was just that, you know, school necessitated putting things down, and then I would forget to pick it back up. And then I decided, instead of picking up The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin, I'm just not in the headspace for it right now. It's too heavy. Mm, not too heavy. It's too much to remember, I think, is a better way to say it. Um, like, it's very involved. It's good. I don't think that you should not read it because of that. But right now, my brain can't handle it. So I picked up Forbidden Promises by Katie Robert. I picked this up because it was recommended. Um, it is a book about two, uh, two, not children, they're not children, they're 24 and 35, um, but children of mob families, Irish mob families in Boston. And they meet out in, I think it's Oregon or something. I don't know, there's a little cute little town that they meet in and they sleep together and then it turns into all drama because they didn't know who each other were. Grammar, sorry. Uh, before, before they slept together and then they figured out who each other were and shenanigans ensue. So I wouldn't say that like mob stories are usually a thing that I'm very into, but I might go back and start reading at the beginning. This book in particular was recommended to me so I just picked it up, even though it's like the fourth book in the series and I haven't read the first three. Yeah, there's three listed in the front. But I think I might go back and pick up the first three. Uh, like it's not, it's not amazing and it's kind of really violent, but I kind of think that I need that right now. So yeah, I think... I think you'll be seeing the first three books in this series pretty soon. And then, um, and then there's 
at least one book after this one in the series. So I think I'm going to binge this series soon because my brain just can't handle really heavy things. I'm hoping that once we really get into like the swing of school, my brain will be able to handle more, but right now it's still, it's not there. It's just not there. So last night I started Made in Korea by Sarah Souk. It is young adult. It is, I'm not very far. Uh, it is going to be light and fluffy. Um, there, it starts out with Victoria. She and her cousin, Charlie, um, sell Korean products that his dad ships from Korea every month. They sell them out of her locker at school. They have a like a small business permit and they have a teacher who's their mentor and stuff. And, um, and so they've been doing that for two years already. So this will be their third year. And now there's a new student, Wes. Yes, Wes. And he kind of infringes on their business. So, yeah, I'm not very far. I think it'll be funny. I think they'll probably fall madly in love because it's a YA book and that seems to be like enemies to lovers is a trope that happens in YA a lot. So that should be fluffy and cute. And plus on the front cover, they're kind of smiling at each other. So I think that will go relatively quickly. I don't think it'll take me more than a week to read that book. I don't know if it will be super quick. Like this I read in three days, but I might read this in three days or I might read it in a week. Um, it is the weekend and I don't have plans today after work or tomorrow. So it could happen. All right. So I've not knit much this week. I know I have knit some rip the needle out of the stock. So I'm going to pick up those stitches, uh, but then I'm not going to knit anymore unless I brought, oh, I did. I did bring the first sock. Good job, me. I still have not woven in the ends on this first sock, but I am going to pick up the stitches and then I think I might just have one or two repeats left before the heel. Maybe three. Somewhere between two and three, it looks like. So maybe I will start the heel on this today when I get home. That could be a good goal. I just really, so what I've been doing instead of knitting is I received um, a postcard from a pen pal who sent me a letter that has been sitting unopened on my bedside table for a very long time. And I knew it was a very long time, but I couldn't read the postmark on the front and it's been sitting there and I've been like, oh, I should write back. And then I had anxiety. So I was like, well, what if I write back and something happened to them during the pandemic and then their family gets this letter and badness. Uh, that I would feel horrible or what if they moved or what if anything so it's been sitting there and at first when it came things were too heavy and I couldn't write because I knew that anything I wrote would be like blah everything's awful so it just sat there and then I got a postcard from my pen pal probably two weeks ago at this point. Um, but I didn't have headspace to be writing during the first week of school. So this week I spent all of my like sit down school time when I'm with a one-on-one -on -one kiddo who just kind of needs me to be next to him and redirect, but it's not a constant 
thing. Uh, I've spent all that time writing back two pen pals. One, the person whose letter I hadn't opened. She sent it in May 2020. It's the end of September 2021. So I wrote her back. Um, I haven't sent the letter yet though because she like decorates her envelopes and stuff. So I decorate the envelopes when I'm sending them back and I haven't had time to sit down and do that. Um, but today that's something I want to do and also send out the other letter. So yeah, I have two letters to send out. Um, and then anyway, that's why I haven't knit this week. Uh, I did not bring the Kai May Sock by Cookie A. I can't remember where I was last week. I may not have worked on it at all this week. Um, I'm to the heel. I finished the heel. I worked the heel flap and the heel turn. I have not yet pick up, picked up the gusset. I don't know why. Probably just because I haven't been knitting. But I hope to get back to that soon. Um, and then the other thing that I'm going to show you is basically nothing. This is going to be a design with another skein of yarn. Did I show these to you last week? I think I did. I started knitting this and then realized that I had messed up at the beginning and so I pulled it out and this is 716 knit 716 sock in the Josh Can't Over Dye Black colorway. So this is going to be a shawl design very soon. I know this is like a super quick update. I'm just, I'm going to talk about life now. So if you don't want to hear about life, thank you for hanging out. Life is going to be really quick. Um, we're still understaffed and this week someone sent a kiddo into school after having them tested for COVID, but didn't wait for the COVID test result. So then they had to pick up their kiddo early from school because they were positive for COVID. So one of my coworkers, you know, my team of three, one of us was out for that. Um, that just made for a really, really long week because we were already short paras. And yeah. If your kid is sick, keep them home. If you are waiting for a test result, keep yourself and your kiddo home. I don't, I really don't understand. Like, what would make you think that sending your kid to school is a good idea? Um, so yeah, some people were on the contact trace list. I wasn't, but, um, so far, nobody else has like had symptoms of COVID, so that's good. It's just, <laughs> I'm feeling very stressed right now, very stressed and very tired. And I'm trying to like do my normal things and it's not happening. So I'm sorry that the content is super light this week. I'm hoping there will be more content soon, but I can't promise that. And for a little tiny shop update, my job today is to take all these books and put them on sale and put red stickers on them and make sure that their prices are sale priced in the computer. At least it's something. I hate weeks where I don't have anything to do. But if you see any of these books and you really, really want them, we do ship. So you can contact the store and have books shipped. Hey friends, it is Sunday afternoon. It's the 26th and I just edited episode 30, which was what I recorded last week and 31, which I recorded yesterday. So I thought I would just check in really quick with you and 
get them both at least uploading and stuff into YouTube so that you can watch them sooner rather than later. So I finished... Oh, the book is all the way over across the room. I'm not getting up. Um, I finished Made in Korea this morning. I was really cute. Definitely enemies to lovers trope. Highly recommend. Very enjoyable. Very light. Cute YA book. I liked it a lot. I've picked up again The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemison. And I am not quite halfway through. I don't think I'm going to finish this by the end of the month. But that's okay. Sometimes I don't meet my book club goals. Okay, usually during the school year I don't meet my book club goals. Uh, and I finished the heel and heel turn on the Hedera sock by Cookie A. And I am going to, I have half of the gusset picked up, so I'm going to pick up the other gusset stitches um, so that I have that all ready to go for school because I would like to work on projects at school since I finished my letter writing. And the envelope is decorated. I'll show you the back. Ta-da! Isn't it cute? I use stickers. I didn't hand draw things. Sometimes I hand draw things. This time I didn't. I must have left my project bag with the Kai May sock at school because I was going to pick it up and get it started on the gusset and stuff so that it would be ready for school. But I can't find that project bag. Maybe it's in the car? I'll have to check when Patrick gets home. But I think I left it at school. <sighs> Fridays, I'm just a mess. I'm just like, okay, I'm out. Goodbye. I'm done. I think every teacher feels that way. I know all the students feel that way. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you are doing pretty well. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.